Hi, I'm Kirsty Meekin and this is Neo Makeup. In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to do a crazy clown. Because at the minute, clowns are all getting a little bit crazy. Because clowns are normally really funny. But no, they're all got a bit crazy and a bit scary. You know, scary people and all. Those are very naughty clowns and they need a smack on the bottom. Definitely. Or around the face. Whatever you want to do. So we're going to do a pretty slash scary clown. I'm going to start by using a model with a nice clean face. Have a nice clean face, don't you, Jay? Let me check. Nice clean face, crazy, crazy contact lenses. And then I will use Simwax. Simwax is a professional product used by professional makeup artists, especially in special effects. So it's a wax and you can use it to make raised sections. Now we need to do this bit first because then it will get coloured afterwards. So what I'm going to do, I've got a spatula, I'm going to take some of the Simwax out. So I'm warming it up in my hand by just folding it over, gathering it up and folding it over. So it's going to get nice and warm, which is going to make it pliable. With a smaller spatula, I'm just going to roughly drag this onto the skin, just so it's attached. And then you can move it around once it's all on. If it starts to cool, it won't want to attach to the skin as well. What I'm going to do is stretch the skin now. And using my spatula, I'm going to arrange it a little bit neater. This doesn't need to be perfectly neater because we want it to have a, a rough edge. So I'm just gathering it towards the centre as well. By that I mean there's less here than there is here. Make sure your edges are neat so this part here blends into the skin. I'm literally running the spatula across it to blend it. And then we're going to take the other side. This is not sharp, this will not cut you. And we're going to go through the wax to create that opening. And I just want to make it not quite as neat. I want it to have some larger pockets of being open. So I'm just going to go in with the spatula. And as we get to the mouth, I'm opening this out more. I'm just going to set this with liquid set, which is just basically a spray that you spray on. Close your eyes. So I'm just going to do exactly the same on the other side, exactly the same. Now using collidium, I am going to go inside this wound. Now this will pull the skin tight and it will also seal it to the skin. So now we're going to put a base on. So we're going to put a base colour on with the Cryoline Aqua Colour, which is a water-based foundation. I want something quite pale. So we're going to use sort of these, these two here. Got a wet sponge. You can see that you can just sponge that on. You can see how, how far this travels. It's, you know, you get a lot out of this. You don't need a lot. It's very pigmented. I'm going to avoid this area for now, but I will go in with that and do, use a brush to get in there. I don't want to press on really hard, you see. You could use a cream-based foundation if you wanted to, but I know that this works really well over the Simwax. Using a wet brush, I'm going to go into our foundation base. We're going to go under the eye with that. And I'm just going to sponge to blend it. Just going to go over the top of the lids now, just so I've got a nice coverage. 
And I'm going to use a flatter brush now. The other one is a round, it's like a mini foundation brush. But this one's like a flat brush. Still going to wet this brush as well. And we're going to use that go up to our scar. I haven't used a fluffy brush because I want something more controlled. That's why I've used a flat brush. Just in case you were wondering, you know, why I've done that. And I'm going to sponge that a little bit. Going to do exactly the same on the other side. Now I'm using a darker colour for the foundation. And we're literally going to add some colour, only a little bit. Totally love this stuff. This is a Grimace and they do lots of professional makeup. Um, when I very first started doing makeup, theatrical makeup or makeup, I fell in love with this product brand. <laughs> So I'm like, I love it. We're going to use these two pinks just here, these shadows. And you're going to go under the eye. So we're going to use the darker one first. Almost red. You look at it. Open your hand up for me. You press that right up to the lash line. Come out. And then go with the lighter pink. You see how it's just a bit of a shade lighter. It'll just intensify that pink there. Do exactly the same with the other eye. So you're going right up to that lash line with that darker colour. Make sure you, make sure you take that all the way to the end. Then what I'm going to do is use um, the NYX Illuminator, which is basically just a highlighter where that pink starts to end. I'm going to pop that on there just to illuminate that part of the face. I am going to do an eyebrow now, so we've got the Kryolein Contour Pencil. I'm going to line the outside of the brow first. With my slanted brush, I'm going to use the other Grimace palette that I've got. We've got a dark brown in here and a black. I'm going to use those powders to fill in the brow. And I'm going to use a little bit of black at the end. Do the same on this one. I'm going to use the white from the Remiss palette. Just highlighting slightly under the brow. This is my favourite face paint company. I absolutely love Snazaroo. Love it. Love face painting. Love everything about face painting, body painting. We're going to do the next part with the black snazzle. So you literally mix a bit of water. It's really pigmented. You don't want it dripping wet because you want to be able to control the product. And we're going to do a thick line going out right over the top of this pink section that we did earlier. So I've got you know, quite a thin brush as well. Now she'll start to look like a clown. So you can see I'm not actually painting on top of the eyebrow, I'm going sort of behind it, I suppose. So it looks like this. It's actually going behind the eyebrow. That makes sense. So these sort of clown markings are quite simple, but you just need to get them, you know, level. Just some simple little dots. So I've got some white snazaroo. Nice white snazaroo. Gonna use just a little bit of that. You're just gonna dot right in the middle of the black dot that we've just done. I'm going to use bright red from the Snazaroo range. And I want a smallish brush. It's got a rounded end, but it's quite small. And we're just going to do the tip of the nose. So she's definitely going to look like a clown now. 
I'm going to go under the eye now with the face paint, with the black. Right up to the lash line. I'll come back to it. Just gonna go round the little nose. You can see how we bled a little bit easy, but yeah, well, it wasn't quite dry, so we're gonna correct that. We're gonna put a little bit of white in here. We're gonna outline these markings on the eye, which will neaten it up at the same time. I'm gonna use a Smashbox red lip liner. Is it's called? What's it called? Crimson. It's one of those gorgeous ones that if you lose the point, you can twist it up and then it brings the point back. I think these are the most cleverest things ever. I'm going to line her lips, not forgetting that we're going to come out here as well. Now, this lip liner is um, waterproof as well. So we're doing quite a pointed lip. Now we're going to do the neck. So I'm going to start in the middle. With the red, so the red snazaroo, we're gonna go in between here now. So this is obviously um, replicating the, um, what's it called? Big top. The big top, that's it. I'm roughly going to use some black. This is only roughly, it doesn't need to be absolutely bob on perfect. <laughs> Sorry, I'm throwing it at you, babe. <laughs> but with black, this is what I want to do now. Get the black on a sponge and go all under the neck. So it really makes the jaw blend out. Well, not blend out, makes it stand out. And I'm just gonna blend that down a little bit. And I'm gonna take a flat brush with black. And just neaten this line. Now, and then for the best bit. We're gonna do blood. So I have some special effects liquid blood, so it's quite runny. And then I've got some fresh scab blood. So this one's thick, so you can see that won't run out. It's more like jelly, co coagulated blood. It looks like. And then you've got this one that's runny. We will be using both of those. With a spatula, I'm going to take out some of the blood, the thick, scabby blood. And I'm going to use that on a brush and come in to the centre. So you can leave the sort of little bits of thick blood, you know, that make it look really dark. So those little bits that are thick make it look more realistic. I'm just going to make that look a bit more uneven so it looks even more realistic. Same on this side. I'm going to use some of the dark pink as well, which is the shadow from what we used under the eyes, from the Grimace palette that we have.
So there might have been a bit of an accident with the blood. So I'm a bit, you know, stained. Might, I might have knocked over the liquid blood. It was an accident. It happened, you know what I mean? Why did it happen to me all the time? Clumsy. Anyway, we're going to use this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous it is, Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colour in the colour High Heels. This is from MAC, it's absolutely beautiful. If you mouth a little bit for me, thank you very much. Mm. So this will stay nice and matte on our lips. It smells nice. It smells nice. That's just me. <laughs> and we could just leave it like that, but no. Not with Kirsty Mickey. Now, I'm going to use the other end of the brush and I've got some in the lid here. Yes, we do We do have some liquid blood left. I did actually, you know, didn't knock it all over, but I did knock quite a lot. And we're gonna press it on and let it drip. <laughs> Why is it so funny, Jay? It's so tickly. It tickly, tickly, tickly. Mm. Oh, feels like a spider. So just look at that. So we're just gonna let that drip down. Now it looks really scary. I want some going on here as well. This is just for added effect. One last thing. In the waterline. Sorry, I don't mean one last thing. I mean <laughs> this two is last two last things. <laughs> <laughs> mascara. This is Max waterproof mascara. And she is finished. Scary yet a little bit pretty. So it looks like the epidemic of crazy clowns is continuing even on this channel. Hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. Hope it didn't scare you too much. <sighs> it scared you a bit, didn't it? Hope, mm. it didn't. Hope it didn't scare you too much. Makeup never hurt nobody. Remember that. I'll see you next time. Do before they had those. <laughs> yeah, before they had those <laughs> things. Did they just paint the nose red? You think so, yeah. They must have, wasn't they? Yeah. <laughs> we should have got you one of them. <laughs> things.